Sino Jedediah Lee, Mania Ho Lau. She will also receive the Leadership Award, and she's one of the authors of the best college technical paper. Ramos, Harris, Joshua, M. <laughs> Ramos, Mary Rosemary C. Rumalizo, Hazel G. S. Rogues, Patricia and S. Suarez, Maristella M. Congrats! Taliana Darlene V. Guys. Tabandai, Nasal In Psychology, Ms. Jedediah Platino, Mania Kroon Dalek. Our guest speaker, Dr. Mario Orofeo, Chairman of the Board of Trustees and Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Leon Chichin, Vice Chairman of the Board and Chief Operating Officer, Dr. Joel Joe Chen, Corporate Secretary, Ms. Jolanda Apostol, Corporate Treasurer, Ms. Sarah Claire Chen Riaspi, Corporate Auditor, Mr. Rexton Chen, Dean of the Graduate School, Dr. Felina Young. Dean of College, Mr. Benjamin Reyes. College Registrar, Ms. Lourdes Abdala. The Dean of Student Affairs, Mr. Gabriel Castro. Administrative Officials, Department Chairs, Faculty Members, Guests, Parents, and Co-Graduates, a very good morning. After a thousand years, a thousand days of waiting, finally, we are all here gathered, celebrating, and cherishing this special moment with our diplomas, and looking to the smiles drawn on the faces of our proud parents. And today, the day that we've been waiting for has come. Let us have a short flashback. Let me remind you that a few years ago, today is the day that we were looking forward to at times that we were rushing to meet the deadlines, at times that we were crying at night over reviewing for the examination on the following morning, at times that we wanted just to play them during grade recitations, at times that we were losing hope, and at times that we were almost giving up. Unknowingly, this is also the day that we will no longer experience the tension of having a good discussion inside the room. Not able to, show, to share a good time with your friends, not able to witness the exciting programs under the heat of the sun, and not able to feel the wind breeze in the daytime. Yeah. Truly, there is a right time for everything. And today is the perfect time to harvest all of the things that we have invested for the past few years. It has been four years since the day I prayed for this moment to come. I have delighted this desire with the Lord 
and let him nourish this fire in my heart and this vision inside of me for four years. I have prayed for this spot that I am right now to be a living testimony that the Lord has its own perfect timing in your life, be it in your career, in your family, and even in the process of your own growth. And that perfect timing is your breakthrough. Along my journey, I have seen how the Lord worked in my life. I have witnessed how faithful and loving my father is. He knows the desires within me, and he knows what I should experience in order for me to see and hold on to his promises. It is never easy to hold on to his promises, especially at times when you are broken, damaged, and rejected. It is never easy to continue, especially at times when things are not falling into their proper places. When situations are getting hard, when you get blinded by anger and hatred, when you no longer believe in love and happiness, when you are surrounded by negativity, and especially at times when giving up is not an option. My whole life seems like a battlefield. A battlefield in which you don't have an option to quit, but to move forward and to keep going, even though it's painful and it's scary. Behind this award of mine is a story of my personal hardships. To tell you, I took kindergarten thrice, and you heard it right. I took kindergarten three times, for I wasn't able to pass the qualifications of being a grade schooler. During grade school and high school, I was the poorest performer inside the classroom. I am not that ideal student that you're all expecting. I was the student who was just sitting on a monoblock waiting until the whole program ends because my name wasn't called to receive a medal or even a certificate during recognition day. I was the student who always sits at the last row because I was the weakest performer. I was being mocked, bullied, rejected, belittled and bashed by my classmates because of my performance. For the long years of my existence, I am totally convinced that I am a loser and don't have any potential to be someone and to do something. My little hope to see the best version of myself was being stolen by the faces of hard situations and struggles in life. But I discovered one thing. I have discovered that the true struggle of the students nowadays is not inside the classroom, but inside their family. I came from a very lonely family. My dad was a victim of drug addiction, and my mom was in pain for 18 years. We were totally broken and unhappy. We grew up with damaged hearts, lots of hatreds and anger within. We have lost hope and love in our hearts. I used to live with our pastor's house together with my cousins while I'm studying, for I was sent out of our house because I became the person I am afraid to become. I became the person who is full of anger, hate, fear, and doubt. But back in the year 2014, the Lord spoke to me, and He gave me a vision. He reminded me that I have Him inside of me. He reminded me that He has given me His power and identity to enjoy the pleasures of life. He revealed to me that I am loved, favored, blessed, and victorious in His sight. And that very special moment that I surrendered my life to the Lord, my whole life has been changed real quick. That little girl who were always sitting on the back row is now at the front, leading, teaching, inspiring, and touching young people's hearts. That little girl 
who used to be bullied and mocked by others, is now being loved and appreciated by many. The girl who was damaged is now healed. And the girl who was broken is now enjoying a happy family with her. Enjoying a happy life with her family. The daughter who became rebellious is now loving her parents more than she loves herself. And that little girl who was just sitting on a monoblack waiting for the program to end is now in the front of you being awarded as the magna cum laude of this graduating batch. The Lord turned every tear into laughter, every hate into love, every faith into happiness, and every favor into success. Sorry. And now, I am standing in front of you, very happy, healed, strong, and overflowing. And I know it was him who really shaped and molded me to become the person he has designed more than 2,000 years ago. All the pain and hardships that I've experienced were planned according to his purpose to make me a living testimony that every one of us here has an access to experience our breakthroughs in life. You just have to keep on holding, believing, embracing to what he has promised you. Along my journey here, I have realized that the ultimate and greatest formula in reaching your goals in life is not just to study hard, but to put the God first. Put Him first and He will show you greater things which you don't know. He has prepared something for us, just don't give up. Just keep on going and keep on praying. The Lord is for us and He hears our prayers. I have also realized that an average type of academic teaches us to read, to write, and to solve problems. But an excellent academic will teach you things that cannot be seen in textbooks, but can be felt in our hearts. It teaches us to have faith, to have hope, love, and courage. It also plants a vision and dreams inside our hearts. It builds a strong stamina within us to pursue our desires and to reach our goals. And I'm very proud that I chose SPCBA. And I will be forever grateful to my alma mater for my breakthrough started here. To my whole family and whole congregation of Christ Community Church, a million thank you for loving and supporting me. Thank you for playing a big role in my life, for helping and reminding me that the Lord has wonderful plans in my life. I will never forget how you all helped, prayed, encouraged, and motivated me to finish this race. This is our victory, and I can wait for the time <coughs> to harvest in me. This is all for the glory of the Lord. To my former teachers, Professors, mentors, and advisors, I thank the Lord for bringing you in my life. Thank you for touching my heart, and I will treasure your advices and teachings in life forever. And to all the people who believed in me, supported me, who stayed beside me, and who fought for me, a huge thank you. To all of you. The Lord knows how grateful I am right now that I've encountered the most beautiful and amazing people in this world. I know the Lord will bring back all the blessings to you. And to my dearest psychology department, we have been silent for a very long time, but not this time. This victory is ours 
and this year of 2018 is the start of our great work. And to all the parents who are here, love your children and support them. Because if you will not love them, no one else will. They are the hopes of this nation, so start empowering them as early as today. And I'll assure you that you will harvest good things in return. To all the graduates, expect that we will encounter lots of reason to stop dreaming and achieving. But keep in our hearts and keep in our minds that the battle is not ours anymore. It is the Lord's. And always remember this. Do not pressure yourself to be the best, but aim to see the best version of yourself. Congratulations, graduates. Padayan SBCBA. Good morning, everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Pino. Graduates.